Before now, my mom would wake me at 6 a.m. It was the time I had gotten used to. I always look forward to wearing my crib screen uniform and stuffing my school bag with candies. As we traversed the main street and into a community road that separated our house, and my school announced the ping, ping, ping of anxious Lagos vehicles, it was a routine I had grown to be fond of. But now in Lagos State and beyond, every puppy has similar nostalgia. A reminiscence of that period when handshakes were cheap, ox were given freely, and kids could learn and play in groups. Now, the reverse is the case. Hand washing, social distancing, and face masking is the new normal. COVID-19 pandemic has brought many changes in our lives. It is a global health crisis that has affected many other sectors, including education. Millions of kids have been denied the form of schooling and the opportunity to raise their social skills. The Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, last BEB, as mandated by the state government, has since provided platforms to learning from home. However, we miss all our teachers and friends. We all have with no mouse in the world and cannot wait to go back to school. Meanwhile, let us continue to stay safe, watch and listen to the classroom in your home. Also listen to the interactive radio instruction, IRI, on Echo FM and Radio Lagos. And take online classes on EcoSia.ng, also on LTV. Watch the classroom in your home. Last two bed, leave no child behind. Good job, you, Governor Babaji de Sonwolu. Hello, pupils. I am so excited to be with you today. You know why? We will be learning and at the same time having lots of fun. Our test goes to our sponsor, Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, through Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, LASUBEB, for this timely program titled The Classroom in Your Home, well, for lower primary. Making sure that no child is left behind. I am Antilola and I'll be taking you through English studies. Of course, I'm not here alone. With me, I have a beautiful mathematics teacher, Antotinu. Hello, pupils. And of course, our ever ready general studies teacher, Uncle Sheyi. Hello, pupils. And together, we bring you the, the classroom, classroom in your, your home. home. Please stay tuned. You're welcome to today's English class, which I call communication class. And for today, we are going to be looking at a very interesting topic. What is that topic? Uncountable noun. But before we go deep into the topic, which is uncountable noun, we want to look at the, those parts we'll be looking at on this lesson. We'll be looking at the definition of uncountable nouns. We'll be looking at the examples of uncountable nouns. We would also be looking at a beautiful video. Mm, I am sure you are expecting that video right on this page. And of course, another segment, which is called Can Fix It. But for now, let's go straight to the business. Our learning objective for today, put it at the back of your mind, that by the end of this lesson, you should be able to define uncountable nouns, give examples of uncountable nouns. On my page here, I have two pictures. The first picture, I have some oranges. And the other picture here, I have a whole lot of grains of rice. But as we look at this picture closely, we want to confirm which of it really defines uncountable nouns. Let's count together the number of oranges we have on this part of the board. We have one, we have two, and we have three. We can count that, right? We have three oranges. But now we want to count the grains of rice, children. Hmm, should we start? <laughs> of course, we can't count those grains of rice. So which do you think defines uncountable nouns? Let's go straight to which defines the uncountable nouns. So what are uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns are things we cannot count. I'll take that again. Uncountable nouns are things we cannot count. So let's go back to the picture and confirm which of those pictures 
really fit in into the definition of uncountable nouns. On the left hand side, as we counted the other time earlier on, we have three oranges. We can't count that. Does that fit in into uncountable nouns? No. But on my right hand side here, we have a whole lot of grains of rice. Does that fit in into the definition of uncountable nouns? Hmm, that is sure the answer. And so we move to the next part after confirming that picture. Uncountable nouns also may be names for physical objects that are too small or too much to be counted. Now I want to give myself a brain test. I'm sitting in front of a whole lot of sand. Is an example anyway. You might have also done that also while you're at home. You're sitting in front of a whole lot of sand and you want to start counting them. You start picking those tiny stones one after the other. Is it possible? I bet not. It is not possible. And also for the rice we checked the other time too, we cannot count it. So it is either too small to be counted or too much to be counted. On the board here, I have bottles of milk and I have a cup of milk. Of course, we can count bottle of milk. And of course, we can count a cup of milk. But the milk itself inside, can I count it? No, I cannot count it. Now we move to examples of uncountable nouns. Well, we've been able to talk about a whole lot of examples. But now let's check more of those examples. We have tea, we have milk, sugar. Are you following? Water. Are you following? Air. Good. Rice. We have butter. Can we count it? No. Gas. Knowledge. Beauty. Anger. Fear. Love. And happiness. Of course, so many more. We have on on color. Well, it is time for mathematics class. And it's, you know. Hello, pupils. I am Auntie Tino, your lower primary math teacher. And the slogan for our math class from henceforth will be Mathematics class, fun time. Mathematics class, fun time. Good job, you. We will be taking addition of numbers today. I know you are familiar with how to add numbers but for the purpose of this lesson we will be revising how to add two digit numbers two digit numbers what are the learning objectives of today's lesson by the end of this lesson by the end of the lesson you should be able to add two digit numbers without regrouping Add two digit numbers with regrouping. Addition of two digit numbers without regrouping. First and foremost, what does it mean when we say regroup? For a lame man who is not a mathematician like us, we say addition of two digit numbers with carrying. What did I say? With carrying. I will only permit you to use carrying today. After today, we say addition of two digit numbers with regrouping. Thank you. Example one, add 25 and 21. Solution. The first step is to write your tens and your units. Tens and units. Remember, units signify one, a digit number. Why tens signifies two digit number? Units can also be called ones. That means from zero to nine is units or ones. From zero to nine, it's your units or ones. So when you hear me say ones, you know I'm talking about the unit. And when you hear me say unit, you know I'm talking about the ones. Thank you. Then when you have your two digits number, your two digits number starts from 10 to 99. So when you have 10, 11, 12, and so on, you know you are talking about the things. Step two, you identify which number is unit and which number is tens. You write your five, which is the unit, under your unit or your one column, and write your two under the tens column. Then the 21, the one stands for the unit 
and the 20 stands for tens. You rule a straight line and you put your addition sign. Very important. If you don't put your addition sign, it means you are not telling us what you are doing. It can be subtraction, it can be multiplication. So it is very important to add your addition sign or your plus sign. So when you hear me say plus, you know I'm talking about addition. Now we are going to count. We are going to count. Whenever you have Antitinus class next lesson, you get your counters, you get your seeds, you get your rulers, you get your pencil, your stones to help us count. But for today, we are going to be using our fingers. We are going to be using our fingers. Now let's count five under the units column. Everybody count with me. One, two, three, four, five let's count our one one what are we going to do add them together what are we going to do add your five and your one together let's count it one two three four five six so when i tell you add five and one under the unit column what are you going to get six are we together did you get six with me? Good job, you. Then you go to the tens column. We have your two and two. We have the number two under the tens column, and you have another two. So we are going to count two and two. Let me quickly tell you something you like. Supposing your mommy gives you two chocolates, and your uncle brought another two chocolates. How many chocolates do you now have? Let's count it together. One, two from mommy, one, two from uncle. Let's add the two, two chocolates together. One, two, three, four. Making it four chocolates. That is it there. So if mommy gives me two chocolates and uncle Kola comes and gives me another two chocolates, how do I add it together? I count everything to get four. Now we have 46. We have 46 and I've circled my answer 46 40 stands for the tens and 6 stands for units or ones example 2 addition of two digit numbers with regrouping remember i told you regrouping means adding numbers with carrying with carrying on a layman's tone or on a, a, if a person that is not a mathematician we want to say it we say i have to carry so but after today you won't say carry again we have 36 and 45 add 36 and 45 like i said before you will identify which number is the unit and which number is tens very easy 30 6 36 your 30 is the tens and your 6 is the unit same for the next one 45 we stress the tens let's stress it together 45 45 your 40 is your tens and your 5 is your unit solution you write your tens and unit We've identified our tens and we have identified our unit. Our six, our six is our unit or ones. Why our three, that's 30, it's our tens. Then the next number is the 45, 45, four and five. Then you rule your straight line, very important. And you add your addition or your plus sign then we add for the purpose of regrouping we won't be using our fingers anymore why because i have only 10 fingers and i believe you have only 10 fingers too so we are going to count we are starting from the unit section like i told you we have six plus one six plus five let's count six together count with me for the purpose of this lesson, we will count in our exercise book. But from next lesson, you get your jotters. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus five. One, two, three, 
four, five. What are we going to do? Count them together. Everybody say, count them together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Who did we get eleven? Oh, eleven is much more than the unit column. So what are we going to do? That is where our regrouping comes in. Yes. So we got eleven. What am I going to do? Remember, we added, we counted six plus five to get eleven. So now the one is moving under the unit column, while the tens we move up on the tens column. Are we together? Now we have one plus three plus four. One plus three plus four. Where did we get this one from? We got it from regrouping of 11. Did we all say that together? Good job you, if you said that with me. Now we want to count one plus three plus four. One plus one, two, three plus one, two, three, four. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did you all get eight with me? Thumbs up. So we have 81, 81. Circle your answer. Example number three. Add 47 and 38. Like I said before, you will identify your tens and you will identify your units. Stress it with me. 47, then 38. I hope by now you are able to write what number is tens and what number is units. Yes. I believe by now we are able to identify our unit and tens together. Yes, the seven is the unit, while the four is the tens. Why? Because we stressed it together. Forty-seven. Yes. Then we have thirty-eight. Our eight is our unit, while our three is our tens. Then you rule your straight line and add your addition sign. Remember I told you adding your addition sign is very important. Now we are going to count 7 plus 8. 7 plus 8. Let's count that together. 1 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hoops! I got fifteen again. But I said you need can only be 0 to 9. What am I going to do here again? Very simple. Yes, you write down your 15. Now let's stress it. 15. It means that you are going to write the 5 under the unit column and your 1 under the tens column. Are we all together? Thank you. Now we have 1 plus 4 plus 3. We got this one from our regrouping. So let's write it down. 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1, 2, 3. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Remember when we counted, we got 15. Let's stress it together. 15. So it means the 5 will go under 
the unit column. You can see it's moving. Then the one we go under the tens column. Now we are going to add 1 plus 4 plus 3. Do you all remember how we got this one? Yes, from the regrouping. Now we have 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 1, 2, 3. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can see our eight here. So the next thing to do is to circle your answer. Did you get 85 with me in this example? Good job, you. Now do this. It's classwork time, assessment time. Add 20 and 32. Add 20 and 32. Two, add 28 and 55. You have just two minutes. Are you true? I believe so. Now let's do our correction together. Yes, we have the 20 plus 32, like I told you before. Were you able to get what number will be under the tens and what number will be under the unit? Did you stress it like I told you? 20 and 32. It means your zero will be under your unit column and your two will be under your tens column. Your two will be under your unit column and your three will be under your tens column. You rule your very straight line and put your addition sign. Zero plus two. Yes, any number added to zero will give you that same number. I have two chocolates and I'm not willing to give Bola any of my chocolates. How many chocolates do I still have? Two. Yes. So... You get your two, then your two plus three will give you five. You circle your answer. Did you get 52 just as we got it here? Thumbs up if you did. Number two, 28 plus 55. Did you stress it the way I asked you to? 28 plus 55. It means your eight will be under your unit column while your two will be under your tens column. 55. The first five will be under the unit column and the second five will be under the tens column. Rule your very straight line, put your addition sign, then you count your eight and add your five to it. You get 13. You write down three and regroup one. You write down three and regroup one. Now you have one plus two plus five. 1 plus 2 plus 5, when you add it together, it gives you 
eight. Did you get 83 like I got here? Circle your answer and give yourself a wonderful round of applause. Very good. Now our assignments. You have just 30 seconds to copy this down. Are you true with copying it? Good job. We have come to the end of today's mathematics class. Hope you had fun like I promised. If so, expect a more exciting time with Uncle Sheyi, our general studies teacher. Till I come your way in the next lesson. Auntie Tino, cheers.